The search for MH370 may resume in January but can only happen if Australia and China agree to expert findings and want a relaunch of the mission as well, said Transport Minister Datuk Sri Liationg Lai. How long it need to take? A month or two? Hopefully, we have to really start because now it's uh, summer in Australia. Mm. We hope to start if we, if, uh, I'm saying that, I'm saying that if, if we want to continue with the search, because the decision is not from us, Malaysia alone, the decision of the tripartite decision from Australia, China and Malaysia. If there is any possibility for us to continue the search, it has to be in January, most probably, if there is, uh, if there is a decision. So we, I, I do not want to speculate, I, don't, I do not want to speculate, because we are leave it to the tripartite country to make a decision. Liao said the decision to continue with the search would also depend on the data collected and if the tripartite committee wanted to continue with it. The second factor would be negotiations with US-based firm Ocean Infinity. We had a very good meeting this morning looking into uh, the details of the search and also the data or the first principle review. And uh, we're going to have more meetings because one meeting is not good enough, we're going to have more meetings with uh, other agencies. Uh, so I think uh, I have directed the Suya Zaruddin response team to continue negotiating Ocean Infinity. Ocean Infinity has given us a lot of uh, details. Uh, we are quite happy with the uh, response from Ocean Infinity because uh, based on the principle of no cure, no fee. So that is the, the basic of our negotiation. So we hope Ocean Infinity can help us to find the wreckage. Liao also said experts had identified a search area of 25,000 square kilometres and the three countries involved in the search wanted to narrow it down to 5,000 square kilometres. On MH17, Liao said that technical investigations were done and now the focus would be on the criminal investigations. Malaysia is expected to receive a report on that by early next year. Earlier, Liao presented 40 children of 23 flight crew members that served on both ill-fated flights with a total of 1.6 million ringgit in financial aid to continue with their studies. Each will receive 40,000 ringgit thanks to the efforts of the Flag Bearer Education Association, an organisation set up to provide education aid to the children. The fund is a private sector initiative funded by Yu Yuan Sang, Genting Malaysia Berhad, Hapsing Plantations and Kuala Lumpur Kepung Berhad. The mock check presentation was witnessed by Defence Minister Datuk Sri Hishamuddin Hussein, the patron of the Flag Bearer Education Association.